All right, so this is going to be a quick video. This is the Aishin AE65 or Anniversary Edition, and they're only going to make about 500 of these. So it's a limited edition model with some interesting specs. And if you look at the specs very carefully, it's pretty similar to the US65 Pro, but this is set up for 2S. Uh, but because this is only 1S, the A65 is only 1S, it has different motors, obviously for 1S, but it's using similar type batteries, and I'll talk about the batteries in a, that here in a second. It's a kind of a complicated situation, but I believe the frame is the same, but just not painted, as you can see here, and the canopy as well. So if you're looking for frame parts, um, it's a pretty light frame, pretty durable frame. And it's not the it's the non-painted version, of course, and it's 1S. So it's got the same board, the Crazy BX board, but it's got some um, 0802 now, 22,000 KV motors for running it on 1S instead of 2S, the same jump fan three bladed props. And the US65 comes with the Ant Nano camera here, as you can see. And the AE65 comes with the Ant Light, it looks like, and it has this little mount here specifically for the ant light something else to consider and then my particular version is the rxsr version it does come in crossfire uh, spi d8 and uh, spi fly sky i believe as well versions of those uh, those two versions the spi versions have the receiver on board so yeah i'm not exactly sure why this, this one instead of the d8 one but um, it's got the rxsr receiver pre uh, installed uh, dual diversity antennas, of course, but no um, RSSI on an aux channel like the XM Plus. And then let me just show you how much this thing weighs. And it's coming in at 22.3 grams, so it's definitely not the lightest of the bunch out there. So let's talk about the batteries real quick here. So you get all the same stuff that you do with the US65 Pro, the case, uh, the AC charger and also the same uh, battery charger here with these connectors and these are the GN20, GNB27 connectors but they're like clones of the GNB27 connectors so on the uh, US65 you can probably see them here we go mm, yeah there we go you can see them on the connectors themselves these are the batteries they have this GNB27 stamped on them, but the AE65 comes with the cloned version. This is the ET 2.0 connector. There's no stamp on these. And I believe there'll be a stamp on the other side as well. Let's see here. Yeah, so these are stamped GNB27 as well. But there was only a limited run of these for the US65. I believe these are now coming with the same ET 2.0 connector. And you see it's a little bit different. They are somewhat compatible. So this in here is the ET 2.0 battery and will fit into the GNB 27 battery connector, no problem. But the fit and I don't know, the tolerances of the connector are a little bit off. So uh, maybe it's just the one connector I have here because I only have one sample, so yours might be different. But um, I can't quite get a good connection. You have to push in all the way, and it only goes in about this far. And then once it's all the way in, it's very hard to pull apart, so I kind of not want to push it in all the way. But at the same time, and I think, yeah, I'm not sure if this will come out of camera, you can kind of see the connector there on the inside of the plastic is a little bit more recessed than on the GNB version. Here's the, this is the GNB. Let's see, this is the GNB version. And if we just compare, let's see if the camera will focus here. Not, not so sure if it's going to be that apparent, but you can kind of see now the pins are a little bit more recessed on the clone version versus the GNB27 version. I think that's where the connection problems come in. So once you've got a connection, it's fine. It works, it doesn't come out. And that's kind of the problem, it doesn't come out. So once you have a snug connection, it's very tough to disconnect. So um, hopefully they'll 
fix that. Or maybe it's just this part of the connector. This that's the problem because um I do plug this into the GMB connector and it seems to be fine. So it might just be this one plug here that's an issue. So just throwing that out there because I think I had some questions about what the differences were between the ET 2.0 batteries and the GMB 27 batteries. And I would say if you want to stick with this type of connector, if you feel this is like the, the way to go for the future, then I would recommend getting the plugs from Amazon. I believe those are actually genuine GNB connectors. So you get the battery battery connector here as well as the 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 lead that goes to the drone itself, the other side. So I'll link that as well. But you know, I just wanted to let you guys know what there's that kind of weird thing going on with the batteries, but in terms of the flight characteristics and the PID tune, it comes with 357. I think it's similarly tuned to the, the way the US 65 was tuned. Uh, as you know, these are these are manufactured by Happy Model for Yishin. And the performance is somewhere in between the 19,500 kV Mobula 6 and the 25,000 kV Mobula 6. And because of the extra weight of the heavier canopy and the bigger camera, as well as the receiver, I don't think all of those little additional pieces increase the weight probably about a gram and a half or so. So it's probably closer to the performance of the 19,500 kV um, Mobula 6 or 19,000 kV Mobula 6 versus the 25,000 kV Mobula 6. But you get the better camera, of course, here um, and the uh, receiver. This will probably have more range than SPA receivers. So. If those are the things you're looking for and you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of weight for a little bit less performance, um, this is totally fine. And I think it, it's pretty in, much in line with the 19,000 kV Mobula sticks in terms of its pin tune and its performance. So that's gonna be it for this video. I think Yishin is starting to launch these, this strategy here of, of uh, putting these like sort of limited runs of like anniversary edition, special edition, uh, drones and I'm not sure if this is the thing that's going to be trending or if they're going to continue to do that. I'm not really sure why because it seems like you know once they go through a run it, it gets discontinued and then uh, then you're basically living to um, the spare parts. And I think spare parts are still going to be available for this anyway so if you do need a motor or whatever those should be available but the entire drone looks like they're only doing a limited run of 500 pieces. So if um, you're thinking about getting something like this or you're thinking oh this is like kind of in the the right spec range what I'm looking for then I would suggest going ahead and getting it right away um, because it does look like that uh, later on down the road once they run out that's they're not going to no longer make these uh, particular models. Anyway here's the flight footage let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.